Hi lovely people, look at that, this is so beautiful, I am in Italy, in Piemonte, let me show you how to do a pesto, yes, three way. The one most everybody like is pesto genovese, but let me show you how simple it is, here we do a proper pesto and molto, so you need a very little garlic, don't just put on a big clove of garlic like this one inside and open, then uh, everything will be all right. No, because we will taste so much garlic, they overpower the lovely basil. So just a little tiny bit. Look how much. Hardly anything. This is just for one or two people. Then you put a little salt. Why you put the salt inside yet? Because I have to taste it. But also, when you actually crush the garlic, the salt underneath is grab it. You know, it's like rough terrains and then you go around and you mash it, mash it, it. then you get handful of pine nuts and just start to crush it crush it don't be worried about it just go go for it now olive oil just put them inside come on just a little bit for now and crush it. You can see, look, it's all start to crush in it. Don't worry if you to make it too thick, you know, or perhaps too fine. And then start to get all the leaves. Leaves, you need the leaves. You don't want to stalk. Then you get all the leaves, just put them inside. Again, mash it up. You know, with this one, I can even hold in my hands. Look at that lovely paste. It's coming along. Again, now I need lots of olive oil. Just go along and mash it again. And everything starts to come up together. Okay? Nice, nice. It starts to get together, you can see. Now you can put a lovely bit of parmesan cheese. Oh, I love parmesan. The greatest Italian inventions make everything taste good. Just great on top. So again, just put them inside. Ah. Oh, mine, mine. I need to taste it now. I'm just going to get some, just a little bit of bread. Oh, yes. Where's my spoon? Who nicked my spoon? There it is. Do you know what I said? Who nicked my spoon? Everybody went and like that. Yes, my colleague. Gennaro. I knew to Gennaro. I wish you could taste it. It is in a paradise inside this bowl. It is all the love and passions and the pain, the basils, the parmesan, the little bit of garlic and the olive oil and the pine nuts. Yes, it is a wonderful pesto. Right, let me show you how to do another pesto. One, you love it. So easy. It's a little bit different, but it's the one most loved in Italy. I think around the world as well. Bless you. Let's tie it up a little bit now. Okay, move this one out. Right. So clean. Let me show you how to do next pesto. Yes, Calabrian pesto. First of all, again, you need garlic. Just have them here. Crush them a bit of garlic. And once you crush it this way, because it's the chili, and when you crush it this way, it won't be so strong. Then again, have a whole chili. Then I'll show you again, break away the chili from your eyes, break it, leave it, smell it. If it's strong, it smells, it's got flavor, but also don't forget, it's quite hot. Hot, it means it give you a kick, but when you put the rest of the inside, balance well. So again, I will use this one because I won't do too much. Half, so again, cut it because you have to chop this one, because if you don't, it can be very hard, 
when the actual crash in a pestle and motor. Just goes, everything goes in. Look at that, so easy. You can see. Little bit of salt. Just a little touch of salt. Because the sun dried tomato already got salt on it. Then a little bit of oregano. Not too much. Well, this is a little bit too much. So put them on the side. Little bit of olive oil. Again, start to crush it. You can see everything is crushing up so easy. But very important that like, these three ingredients, they mix together. And then slowly, you get some sun-dried tomato. You can see how nice they are. Just put them inside. Oh, yes. Now, nothing goes. Just crush it. Because, oh, my, my. Look at this creamy. Look. I know that it's a little bit thick because it's a sun-dried tomato inside there. Still some uh, there because can't really mash it all. But so what? Look at that beauty. Yeah. I'm just going to taste it. I gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. Taste it with a spoon. I want anything. Yeah! Calabria inside the bowl. It's got a kick. It's got a flavor. Your mouths get full. All the little small winter you have them on the side of your mouth. They go like that. They grab it. Chum, chum, chum. And they want it more, more, and more. Fantastic. It tastes so good. It's so simple to make. Again, it's not a true ingredient. Let me just put them inside here, son. Oh, yeah. You know, this is enough for about three people. You say, well, it's small. It's not. I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to put this on top. There it is. This is pesto calagrese with a sun-dried tomato, chili, garlic, oregano, and oil. I'm going to wipe all this down, and I've got one more for you that you love it. Yes! Right. Let me show you how to do the next one. The next one are going to be a walnut pesto. Yes. Or we can call them a sauce. There's many different ways. Extremely easy. Again, you need a little garlic, not too much. Then again, a little salt inside. And then crush it, like we've done before. Walnuts. Just empty full inside for now. And just crush everything. It's so easy to crush it. You can see because the walnuts are full of oil. They're really good. You're supposed to eat about at least uh, two, three walnuts every single day. And look, and it's so easy to crush it. You can see what I'm doing it. Just a little pinch of a margarine. Just a little pinch, not too much. That is good. Again, crush it. And just a little bit of olive oil. Yes. Because they're going to get all together now. Just come on, yeah. So easy. Again, crush it. Let me just come near me. Nice, a little bit of a bread inside. Just get to the inside of a very rustic bread. You do one nut of bread, they're delicious. One nut a pear is delicious, but we can't put the pears inside here. Again, just about one slice. Make sure the bread is stale bread and make sure it's rustic bread. Don't use a slice of bread because it doesn't work. Then you use about 100 milliliters of milk. Just put them inside, I see. Leave it for about a few seconds because you want that milk get through the bread. And then again, start to crush it again. Easy. It's nearly there, nearly there. Nice pecorino cheese. 
I'm going to grate that pecorino cheese on the board. Four tablespoons of a pecorino cheese, no more than that, that is enough. Just put everything inside. Ah. Nearly there, nearly there. Ah. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, let's taste it a little bit now. It's me. It is the best quality of ingredient, or because I cook it so good. It's one of them. I think it's me. Try. Because it's unbelievable. Then just put them inside the bowl because I just. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to swap with this one later. Bending on it, put a few walnuts. Three fantastic presto, please do make it because you will love it. Now, will I do it? I'm gonna go to bed. Arrivederci. That door is the right one, but it's got lock on, on it. Can somebody open this door for me? Oh, I'm cooking. Are you still filming? Oh my God. Okay, I'm going upstairs. You still filming? Yeah. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Anybody here?